today, people of God out there. I feel so highly honored to be with you again today, presenting the Open Heavens Reflections based on the Open Heavens Prayer Guide written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I am Bumi Adekola, a pastor in Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Didcord, Oxfordshire, United Kingdom. Our topic to look into together today says dealing with unclean spirits. Our Bible passage is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 10, just one verse, the first verse. And when he, Jesus, had called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. Our memory verse is taken from Mark chapter 16 and the 16th verse. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. May we not face condemnation in the name of Jesus. Our reflections. Today we have read Matthew 10 verse 1 in which Jesus sent out the 12 disciples to heal sickness and disease. Interestingly though, in the preceding verses, we see that Jesus was preaching and healing the people, and he began to see the need for more laborers because the harvest was plentiful. In verses 35 to 38, an ivory Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages of that area, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his field, Jesus said. It was the very next verse where Jesus called the disciples together and gave them power over unclean spirits and to heal sickness and disease. And then in verse 5, he sent them out to do the work. Hmm. I imagine the scene where one minute the disciples are having like a prayer meeting with Jesus, leading them to pray for workers, and the very next minute, they discover that they are actually the workers and they are being sent out to do the work that Jesus had been doing alone until that point. It is one thing to pray for God, to send someone else, and another to discover that you actually are the one God has chosen. For you listeners today, I believe that God wants to use you to do wonders but you may still be thinking that God will use someone else. You may even be praying for God to send laborers to your church, to your neighborhood or your city, when indeed God wants to use you. Do not be afraid, people of God. Jesus did not send the disciples out without first giving them the supernatural ability to cast out unclean spirits and heal the sick. Likewise, when you yield yourself to be used by God, he will give you the power and the anointing that you need. When God's presence is with you, demons will flee. In today's devotional, Pastor Iye Adeboye put it like this, if demons see the same glory of God in you, they will have no choice but to submit to the King of glory whose presence you carry. I pray that that will be our testimony. But we need to get rid of fear today and allow God to use us for his glory. Shall we just pray together and say, Father God, please baptize me with your power. Baptize me also with your spirit of boldness today in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the baptism of the power from on high to do exploits for the king of glory. It is well with you in Jesus' name. See you very soon and God bless you mightily.